Fitness and health made simple. You notice I didn't say made easy, I just said made simple. I think the temptation is always to try and post a video because I look at the videos that get a lot of views. When it comes to fitness and health, and uh, the ones that really get a lot of views are the ones that make it look like you can do this one exercise or take this one supplement or you know follow this guru's fitness routine and in 10 days you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be ripped. You're gonna look like a Greek god or a Greek goddess. Well, I mean the fact of the matter is that's it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. Fitness and health are really simple and the fact is most of us already know what it takes to get in shape and to be healthy. And I'll just give it to you in the simplest possible terms. There's really three core things one of them is exercise. And the type of exercise and the quantity of exercise are the details, but it's exercise. The next one is diet. And the diet isn't starving yourself, dieting, not that kind of diet, but having a healthy diet. Eating foods that are basically, the more whole foods, the less processed foods you can eat, the better. And again, we can get into great detail about different methods of eating that create much different results or, or faster results, but the essential core belief, or the core thing to keep your mind on is eat a healthy diet. The last thing we don't think about as much is sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, your body can't recover, uh, your systems will start to start to break down and, and you basically you'll go into a bad state of health. So sleep is an important factor as well. You know, when I was, uh, when I was quite a bit younger, I thought fitness, I, I guess I really didn't really understand fitness at all. I got into lifting weights, being thinking I was gonna be a bodybuilder, wanted to be the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, you know, genetics play a huge part in that, and of course in his case, and is the case with most of those guys, steroids and drugs all play a part. Now you look great, but your health is shit when you do that. So in any case, I started a gym, uh, lifted weights and bulked myself up to about 230, 235 pounds. And boy, I could lift some heavy objects at that point. But <clears throat> if I had to do anything physical for any length of time, like climb a mountain, uh, play a game of softball, anything that required a game of basketball, anything that required me to be physically active for any length of time, I, I sucked. I couldn't do it. My, I was carrying around so much more weight than my body really was intended to carry around. And <clears throat> I was strong, but that was where, where it ended. So, as I, I really didn't understand that until probably in my 40s, and uh, I got into martial arts, and when we started doing karate, and actually doing karate fights, I found out that three minutes is a, <laughs> a, a karate fight, uh, any kind of a boxing match, anything like that, that's a match. When you're tense, you're in that mode, that fight or flight mode, three minutes is the longest period of time you can imagine when you're in that. So, so I learned that there was more to fitness than just being big and strong. And up until that point, I'd really focused strictly on that. Maybe doing some sprints once in a while, but I never did anything that required me to stay, to have any kind of aerobic fitness as well. <clears throat> so that kind of taught me more that fitness, fitness, is, fitness and health are a holistic, Thing. They're not just one thing or the other. You're not just, if you're just a runner, you can be just as unhealthy being a runner. In fact, you look at a lot of runners and they're gaunt, they're skinny, they're rack of bones, and their joints are all killing them. And, uh, you know, in general, they're, they're not that healthy. You have to do a little bit of everything. Be a well-rounded, just like your diet. It should be well-rounded, so should your fitness routine be well-rounded. And then back to the sleep thing. You know, sleep, it's it's just critical to your recovery. If if you if you're exercising right, and part of the exercising right is progressively overloading your muscles, because muscle is the most important part. Now I just digressed from the sleep, but I need to do this. Muscle is probably the most important part of of a lifetime of fitness, because as you age, your muscle starts to just disintegrate, and especially if you don't use it. You know the old saying, use it or lose it. It is absolutely true when it comes to muscle. You can look at anybody that's over the age of 60, 70 years old, and you can look at, that's one of the first things you notice about them is they're, they're starting, unless they're just huge fat to begin with, if they're just an average sized person, you can see that they have no muscle tone. Um, they're, they're basically their meat hanging off the bones and, and <clears throat> their health is progressively getting worse. So 
probably the single most important part of the exercise program is to focus on building some muscle. And you do that by prog pro progressively <laughs> overloading your muscles with weights. In other words, whatever you lifted today, try to lift something a little bit heavier tomorrow or do a couple more reps. Um, and there's, there's, again, there's detail there. You don't wanna be doing it just because if you can do 10 reps with something today, working yourself to where you're doing 100 reps is not necessarily the, the proper way to go. It, it is a way to progressively overload, but it's, uh, you know, there's a point where you're actually overtaxing your joints and overtaxing your muscles and they don't really recover very well from that. So, um, so again, we'll cover in another, in another uh, video, we'll cover that in more detail, but the point is to overload your muscles. So back to the sleep thing. Um, you know, we're, we are creatures of habit. Uh, we do have a thing called a circadian rhythm and our bodies are, are accustomed to, uh, the, are affected by the light of day. And you should try and find at least a, a regular period of time where you can get, I'm gonna say at least eight hours of sleep. Uh, some people say, oh, I can get by on four, I can get by on five. Well, you can get by on that. You can get by on not eating enough food. There's a lot of things you can get by on, but if you wanna be optimal, if you wanna get the best and the most out of your life and out of your body, get enough sleep. And eight hours is kind of the standard for that. So find a, find a time that's regular, make it regular, and then everything else. If you're, if you're sleeping, if you're going to bed at midnight one night and then the next day you're going to bed at six o'clock in the afternoon and if, that your body needs to adapt to a regular schedule when it comes to eating, when it comes to exercise, when it comes to sleep. Those are all important things. So find a good time preferably in the dark and, and get enough sleep. So again, just summing it all up, the basics. Get enough sleep, work out your muscles with progressively harder weights and eat a nutritious and well-rounded diet that's made up mostly of whole foods. Stay away from processed foods. Simple, simple, simple. Easy, no. Simple, yes. Don't complicate it. Just uh, get started, whatever you do, get started. You'll appreciate it more as you age. Thanks for watching.